Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. And of course, welcome back to your daily updates on Dogecoin. All right. And so far, it's it's going as we expect, right? And I, I do think it will continue to, to go as we expect. I mean, I'm pretty... I've looked at Dogecoin quite a bit and I, um, I've, I've done quite a lot of an analysis on this. So overall, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my analysis. Now, it's really an analysis, all right? And most of you know the way I analyze. It's not a prediction. Like, I will not tell you we are going to drop down to 15 cents or we are going to break above 20 cents again and rally up to 25. We'll just do a full analysis. I will tell you what I think is most likely, of course. Um, but all right. So what we said yesterday, because I'm, I'm doing these updates daily, of course, right now. What I said yesterday, and let me reset uh, real quick. Um, what I said is that, you know, Dogecoin right now, uh, there is a chance if Bitcoin actually turns quite bullish, which it did. Um, but there is a chance that Dogecoin actually becomes bullish as well from this major support level we have right now, right here at um, around 17 and 16 and a half cents. There's a chance that we will actually retest 19 and a half cents and 19.7 cents and that we can break above that if Bitcoin is bullish. Now, Bitcoin was relatively strong. However, and that, that is a bit of a problem right now that's going on in the markets. Bitcoin has been quite strong, but it has, hasn't been bullish. All right. We just we just retested the previous uh, support we had. So purely technically, that was to be expected. And then apart from that, what you see is that while Bitcoin is bullish and bearish, which is a negative, the Bitcoin dominance is going up. And that's bearish, all right? Because if Bitcoin is not super bullish, like if Bitcoin is stable or Bitcoin is dropping down and the Bitcoin dominance is, is, moving, uh, is moving up, that means that altcoins are suffering, all right? And that's what's going on with Dogecoin right now as well. Dogecoin was very bullish, but right now, and that might still come. I mean, if we fundamentally think about like 420, maybe we'll get some momentum then. But if you look at Dogecoin right now, purely technically, what you'll see is that the open interest right here is dropping down severely, all right? So Dogecoin has no momentum on its own. Bitcoin is bearish, or at least Bitcoin is, is not bullish. Bitcoin dominance is going up. That's fundamentally bad news for Dogecoin. Now, purely technically, and I, I talked about this briefly yesterday as well, like we already expected that we would not break out. That was not the most likely scenario. Um, but what I do think is that if you technically look at this level right here at 16 and a half cents, that's such a strong level. Like purely technically, we have the 200 EMA there. We have the 0 0.618 FIP there. Uh, just historically, it's, it's quite a strong level, as you can see. So I do have a bit of faith in that level. Now, look, if, even though this is a, a technically a very strong level, so I expect some support from here, even though that's the case, um, look, if Bitcoin is going to be stable and the Bitcoin dominance is going to go up, we will still have that bearish breakout. And we will still drop down to 14 and a half and 13 and a half cents. And I do think at this point of time that this is most likely. All right. Because there, there's no indication to say otherwise. Dogecoin's momentum is dropping down and the, and the market is, is just shit, to be honest. And that goes to monetization. Um, so I do think that after finding support, we'll drop down lower. I think that's most likely. However, there's a chance, and I'll keep you updated on this, but there's a chance that when we find support here, the open interest is actually going to be able to go up a bit. And if that's true, we can actually get some bullish momentum and we can start to be a bit more bullish. Um, but unless the, the open interest actually does find some support, which is not the case right now, there's nothing we can talk about. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. For now, like I said, I do expect some support. Uh, but unfortunately, after that, I also do expect a, a bearish continuation. So that's what you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.